Hello and welcome to Tuner Tips by Totterbert. In front of us, we have the XSTAR PP2SL. This is a portable power bank charger using 18650s or 21700 batteries. You can find this on sale at Amazon for $25.99, all links below. That price also includes an 18 watt wall charger, which I find convenient with this device. So yeah, we're going to go over this. This is a fantastic charger and power bank combo because you can take the batteries in and out. Uh, fantastic because you can take and put them in your flashlights and put new batteries to charge them. And you can use, also use this as your power bank to keep things running as well. So just a fantastic thing if you're going off the grid, if you're going on a weekend vacation or camping, a uh, perfect thing to take along with you. It is nice to read out what you get to see here. I'll actually just hit that button to get an idea what your capacity is, what the voltage, what the draw is. And we'll demo this, of course, but yeah, really cool digital display as well. So, um, so it comes in this box here, which we'll go over. Let's go ahead and set that aside. All right, the PB2SL power bank and charger, QC 3.0, and power delivery 3.0. Nice. Uh, two amp charge rate times two, so it goes four amps in to charge the batteries. Works really well with the high capacity 21700s. Uh, as you can see, it can take all the way up to uh, 21700 button tops. Nice and all types of 18650s. It has an accessory bracket, of course, to take up the slack for the shorter batteries, which I'm using for the 21700 flat tops that are installed in there. It has a rotary buckle in the lid. This helps to stabilize the 18650s when you're using smaller batteries. Might have been a problem on the older model, but not anymore. And they got different colors, red, blue, and black. So, and then you got little blurbs here. There you go, cool. And on the back, I believe it goes through some product features. You can freeze frame that if you want to read all that. Very cool. I will try to cover some of that. And then of course we have specifications, which I will cover, and some QR codes. Nice. I think I'll just leave this box in frame here for now. So here's the star of the show. Of course you get with the PB2SL, and along with that in the box you get the charging cable, a standard USB to Type-C. So yeah, this works really well. Nice long length to it. And then we get the manual, which is pretty simple. We'll go over. I always like to do this for posterity. Um, it's only two pages, so here you are. English, PB2SL, introduction. So I get this up closer to the camera for you guys. There we go. Small printing. So it's got two outputs and, of course, a Type-C input for charging it quickly, which I'm going to demo. Got that digital display, which I showed you. There's the accessory bracket to take up the slack for shorter batteries. There's the rotary buckle to help stabilize 18650s. When it's in that position, of course, if you turn it the other way, it's for the bigger batteries, 21700s. Magnetic panel, nice. And then, of course, there you go. Unprotected, protected, so there you are. And then down here, we have some specifications. Freeze frame on that, up to 2 amps times 2, beautiful charge rate. And then on the instruction side of things, there's your operation, charging the batteries. Uh, it's pretty cool. You can actually see which uh, battery bay you can select it and see which battery is charging at what voltage and amperage and to see what the capacity is left on charge. I'm going to show that to you as well. It's got zero volt activation function. Yeah, there's your button function. So you can see the battery one and battery two in the different bays and low current output. That's actually nice to have when you're charging uh, low current devices such as Bluetooth headphones. And of course, your Display in and out. All right, cool. Warranty, anti-fake, and warnings. Cool. All right, there it is. So the side, and uh, yeah, let's get to the X Star. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this off frame here. Now my screen gets a little wonky with blue and red, so we're gonna bring in. I think some cardboard maybe will help. There we go. Bring this on down. We'll go over dimensions of the X Star. PB2SL. <laughs> Actually, it's a really cool charger. I love it. Um, so we have a width of two and a quarter inches. We have a length of four and seven eighths of an inch. Then we have a thickness of one and one eighths of an inch. So let's do a little size comparison. Always have some radios handy. CC pocket in the house. There you go. So weather radio. It's about the same size. Nice. Next we have, uh, well, deck of cards. It's Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He loves X-Stars from China Land. Sing it with me. <laughs> I love it. But there's your deck of cards. Iron Man loves his power banks. Keeps his suit running, man. <laughs> awesome. 
Okay, gives you an idea. Uh, pretty pocketable, you know, it's very sleek and curvy, so I really like that. All right, great. So that's it for the size comparison. Uh, we're definitely gonna demo this. So let's go over features of the PB2SL. Now, right away, yeah, it has uh, rounded corners, a smooth texture, but there's no rubber coating on it, which you'll find to be happy. <laughs> um, on the back here, has some information about the input, output, in case I missed something there. Okay, very cool. Um, of course, you saw the display, and of course, here's the button to tap it just to see what capacity is left. Voltage, amp when it's uh, charging, very nice. Um, of course, all rounded, like easy to pocket. Uh, so this lid here is magnetic. You can see there's two spots where you can pry it up. So we'll go ahead, it's magnetic, so it should just pop right off. And on the inside here, on the lid, you can see it's got the anti fink measures here, security code. Now this is the little adapter here. So if we put it in this position, this allows you to store 18650s and charge them in here stable, uh, along with this accessory bracket that's in there. That's removable as well. Uh, but for these batteries, I'm using 21700 flat tops. These are 4,000 milliamp hour each, giving this power bank a total of 8,000 milliamp hour internal capacity when used as a power bank. And then when you want to use the bigger cells, you got to turn this to the middle, vertical position. There you are. And then going to the batteries here, you can see they can come in and out. It's got this little strap here. We're just going to leave them in. But yeah, you can put 18650s in here, flat tops, button tops, unprotected, protected. Uh, this, these are unprotected flat top 21700s, and of course you can go all the way up to protected 21700s, which I think is fantastic. Um, and they've made it so it's everything's nice and snug. Like right now this is the best to run it, I think, to 21700 flat tops. Uh, fantastic. And of course you got the little helper there to pull the cells out. Accessory bracket. That's about it for the insides. Pretty simple. Uh, if you're going to use different batteries, I recommend using the same capacity and the same type if you can. Uh, you could probably mix capacities because it does independently charge these batteries. But if using this power bank mode, you probably get best results using matched batteries. So keep that in mind. It's always good to pick one brand and stick with it and a capacity that you like. So definitely do that. And of course, hit our button again. I showed you the output. And this changes when you're charging it. Um, so yeah, we'll demo that in a moment. But let's talk about the ports on the side here. We have output, USB, that's the Qualcomm 3.0. Um, so you can expect a uh, 5 volts, 2 amps, 9 volts, 2 amps, and 12 volts at 1.5 amps. I don't know why it's not 5 volts at 3 amps, but uh, you can only do 5 volts, 2 amps uh, as its base. The Type-C uh, input output um, is power delivery 3.0. So in and out, it can do 5 volts, 2 amps, 9 volts at 2 amps, and 12 volts at 1.5 amps. Not bad. So yeah. Definitely cool. So let's uh, demo this bad boy. So yeah, definitely great in the field. I didn't want to mention that, but uh, yeah, I like it. Uh, so let's go ahead. Yeah, you can use it to power everything um, perfectly to pair with a small solar panel. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and uh, do an input charge. So I have the adapter, XTAR adapter here. Let's show you. It's 18 watt. That's what you can get with the $25 model. And I'm going to just hook this up to charge it because I think it has a little bit of charge it needs. Let's plug it in the input here, type C. It's going to tell us what the input is. So right now I went to the fast mode, so we're getting 18 watts, 9 volts at 2 amps. Fast charging, which is good. Now if I hit this button here on the side, we'll get our battery at 1, which is this one here. It's showing us 4.1 volts. When it's 4.2, of course, it stops. Uh, 1.8 amps charge rate. And then if we hit to the second bay, it's similar because they're matched pair. Battery 2 is 4.1 volts at 1.8 amps. So that's neat. You can do that. Can change it and right now it's taking a full input which i love it all right so that's the charging part of it go ahead and pull that off now if you want to do low power mode you just press and hold this power button here on the side again it's just all simple plastics uh, press and hold this and what it'll do is it'll flash telling you that you are in low power mode uh, probably last two hours that's typically what these timers are on in these devices um, so there you go. It's going to keep flashing, and that way it keeps devices powered, especially using low, low uh, draw components. So let's go ahead and to turn that off, you just press and hold, and then it should stop. Perfect. All right, so let's demo this. Let's power some devices. Um, let's see, what do I have handy here? Um, I Okay, you know what? I have a little gauge. You can. Uh, you pretty much don't need this gauge. Um, 
I always have these for my power banks reading. But this has a built-in meter that's pretty uh, accurate compared to this. So I really don't think I have to show it, but we can you can just see what the voltage is like. So let's just plug it in. And of course it's upside down. Okay, so it's reading 4.1 volts and it says 5 there. So it is pretty close. Um, so yeah, we don't need to put that in there because I want to show you charging two devices. So it can charge two devices at once. Um, definitely do not charge while you're charging this device. So if you're if you're charging your batteries here, uh, don't have an output going. So something to keep in mind. But we're going to hook up a couple of things. I have a radio here. I have a, I have a D808. We're going to hook up. And then I'm going to hook up a flashlight. I got a Thrunite TC15 version 3. I have a Type-C to Type-C cable uh, for a simple charge. So we're going to hook that up to our Type-C jack. So you get an idea what's going on and what it can charge. It's going to light up. There we go. Showing the flashlight is indeed taking a charge. And our output's at 1.6 amps. And our voltage is 4.8 volts. So, and now of course we can do two at once. I'm going to hook up the D808. Um, it's not going to pull as much, but uh, we should be able to push it a little bit. So I'm going to hook that up with the standard USB to micro. And uh, yeah, we'll hook it to set in here. Does a little reset. Let me do that. And then we are now we're outputting. So as you can see on the radio, we're taking a charge there. This radio actually has an 18650 built in. There you are. Very cool. Now, of course, how efficient is this power bank? Well, Think of it as a charger first and foremost. Power bank, secondary function. Um, it's a great power bank. Don't get me wrong. You can see what it's doing. Pretty decent job charging its devices. But I did some testing with my two 4,000 milliamp hour batteries in here, giving me a total of internal 8,000 milliamp hour. Um, I got a delivered uh, result of 5,042 milliamp hours or 25.49 watt hours. I was using a draw of two amps, just pretty much like this, and I got an 86 percent efficiency. This does get rather warm while charging, so you lose a bit of efficiency uh, with the charging circuit. But otherwise, not bad for what this offers. A um, lot of versatility here. Now you got to keep that in mind because, again, you can open the bay, take the batteries out, put new batteries in, put those batteries into something else. New batteries can be charged with your solar panel, and then, of course, once they're charged up, you can use this as a power bank to charge the smaller devices. This is what I recommend use this to charge like say a smaller radio that uses like a smaller battery say like a, an R108 that uses like a 1000 milliamp hour battery uh, you get quite a few charges close to five charges on your radio which is fantastic and of course you can upgrade your batteries to the higher capacity 21700s up to you know 10,000 so you have a nice little bank there as well if you want to so and of course smaller flashlights that have smaller batteries this would be perfect for those and your headphones so definitely a cool setup. So we're done with that. We'll do final thoughts on the PB2SL. Again, very simple product and very versatile. I like this kind of power bank and charger. Very nice. And I love this display here. It's fantastic. I'm giving you all the information you need. So there it is. Let me bring the box back in. Make my colors back. Always nice to see. There you are. Zoom up. All right, so my verdict on the PB2SL, um, definitely worth the money. And, of course, you get the uh, cable. And for that $25.99, you get the uh, that little power brick as well to keep it charged. And, uh, yeah, so I'll link below if you want to get this. Uh, it definitely gets a recommended buy for me because it's been stable. I've been using it. Uh, no issues whatsoever. I like the new accessory bracket and the rotary buckle to help keep those cells nice and snug. Again, you can use your standard little 18650s in there as well well as your 21700s. Okay, that's kind of what I would use either or. And of course you can use button tops, unprotected or protected cells. So yeah, not bad at all. So yeah, there you are. The PB2SL. Give a big like if you like the video, if you like the product, uh, if you like XStar itself, if you like the brand, hit subscribe to the bell icon, get notified of future product reviews. I like it myself. I reviewed their chargers before. I believe the C model, which is the 18650, the little shorter one. doesn't have the nice readout. I do like that readout. I think that's amazing. Uh, and of course, uh, three, comment below what you think about the PB2SL. Is it something you'd be interested in? Do you like the flexibility that this offers as a power bank charger system? Um, being able to do all that, charge two devices at once, fast charge, 
uh, for your loose batteries, um, you let me know. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.